hello. Welcome to another beautiful day here in Osaka, Japan. So currently we're in the downtown area over here, which is pretty famous. They have this canal over here, go on a boat ride. A lot of things to see, a lot of things to do. So let me show you how it is. As always, smash the like button and subscribe. And let's check out Osaka. All right, so the area I want to show you today is this area, of course, called Dotonbori. The reason why I want to show you this area, as you can see, it's very lively. But I just want you to take a second and check out the sign. The reason why I'm telling you to look at the sign is this sign has been here since 1935. So if you ever see a picture of Osaka, you'll probably see the sign. And yeah, so it's been here about 87 years. It's the Glyco Running Man sign. So a symbol of Osaka, Japan is this Running Man sign. And if you're from Osaka or you've been to Osaka, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. This is one of my most favorite areas of Osaka, or actually my most favorite. So we're just gonna walk around, explore the area a bit, have a feel of the area. See, there's a lot of school students over here too. I've noticed they have like a lot of tour groups that take students around this area just to show them. I'm not sure if they're from like the city locally or if they're just like from other parts of Japan. But I was like, I have to show you this area. This is my favorite part of Osaka. So yeah, enjoy Osaka. You see they have a lot of uh, pictures and stuff just to show you some things you do on these billboards. They have this over here. It's a statue that says 2025. Looks like there's a, it's a fist, as you can see. The reason why they have 2025 is they're gonna have the World Expo 2025. Because if you have been watching my channel, if you haven't yet, that the World Expo was just in Dubai. It was uh, this year, 2022. It was supposed to be 2020, but due to the pandemic, it got extended to 2022. If you wanna see how the World Expo looks like in Dubai, check out my channel. Then over here, there's a long walking street. Like in Japan, what I've noticed, they have a lot of these like tunnel places. It kind of looks like a tunnel, it's a market. It's like, a, you see like an open shopping mall. It has a lot of places that you can get food from, buy clothes, so it's cool. And this tunnel actually extends from over there. You can keep on walking straight for a while. And then you can also go to the opposite end where we just were at on this bridge. And it goes on for like one kilometer, two kilometer. I can just make a whole video just about that. But I was like, in this video, I wanna show you so many things because uh you know we're in japan it just for me sometimes it's like an overload of just seeing so many things over here you see for yourself oh look at that they have fifa world cup uh qatar 2022 showing you in uh japan plays because currently as i'm recording this we're in 2022 and it's about to be the world cup oh something else i want to show you so many things this over here you see there's people over there they're taking photos and they're right there a lot of people like to do they like to stop right over there across the street and just take photos of themselves it's something special people like to do it and then you can see this guy it's a signage for the one company called meji which they make a lot of snacks here in japan look how lively it is guys i was here during halloween so much more livelier even though right now it's pretty crowded and right now I'm recording this on a weekday. The weekend, there's a lot more people, a lot of things to see. They have cafes here. They have places to get souvenirs. This is like some like special character over here. I'm not really sure what that's all about. One pair of socks is 500 Japanese yen, which in dollars is around like, let me see, like $3. Oh, look at this. Looks like they have a Shiba Inu cafe, a dog cafe. I just noticed that. Wow. So a lot of these businesses, actually, you have to look up. Places are multi-leveled and their signage, you can see, it just has so many different things. So if you want to see like so many different stuff in this area, just look up. That's pro tip. Not a lot of people look up. Here's a takoyaki place, which is famous in Osaka. I think I showed you in the last video, but if you don't know what takoyaki is, uh, uh, it looks like it's empty. They don't have anything to show you guys. But this is uh, octopus balls, which I didn't make a whole takoyaki video about it. Hi. Hi guys. Konnichiwa. Oh, genki desu ka? Genki desu? Check it out. Well, you see all these? These are old takoyaki balls that people just ate. Something that I love, on top of these buildings, they have a lot of signage that looks like this. Like, looks like real life signage. If that even makes any sense, real life signage. Something you don't see all around the world. Something special in Japan. 
the signage for the places to actually really pop out to you. They have these capsule machines over here. So they have this all over Osaka and also all over Japan. A lot of these, pe these people, they play with these like capsule machines. You can see over here there's a capsule. So basically what you do, you put like 300 yen, 400 yen, which I might make a whole video about it because they have like places just for these capsule machines. So you put 300 yen, 400 yen, even cheaper, even more. And you get like, for example, like one of these characters over here. It's like different animal creatures, but they have like Japanese themed stuff like Pokemon, uh, other anime, Dragon Ball Z. So cool. <laughs> I love Japan so much, really guys. Number one takoyaki place, I guess, apparently. Maybe here, I can show you guys how they make takoyaki over here. Are you takoyaki? Ah, there we go, there's takoyaki guys. Look at all these takoyaki balls. I love this area of Osaka. Oh, something I want to also tell you too, a lot of the restaurants over here, they don't accept credit card and to order, you have to put your money in this like vending machine, it comes out with a receipt. So say for example, I want this noodles and soup with extra roast pork. Well, I don't eat pork, but like if I did, you just have to put your uh, thousand yen or whatever inside of the machine, it comes out with a receipt and then you give it to the person that's cooking your food, which is over there. And then you can enjoy your soup. So here's like another long alleyway too which are across the streets or across the bridge. So there's a bridge over there, you'd find it too. And then also uh, another thing I want to point out to you guys that, hi, how's it going, are you good? All right. And something also I want to point out to you guys is, the guy just poked me randomly. But some, huh? What, you know, oh, you know me. How, how do you find? You here the other day. Oh yeah, you remember? How you doing? We took the picture, yeah. Yes. We did. Ah, okay. I was, I was sure. I was like, who is this guy? I remember your yeah, face. I remember. Yeah, I'm taking right now a video of this whole area. I'm going to Tokyo tomorrow. Tomorrow, okay, Tokyo. So, uh, are you gonna enjoy it? What do you think? Okay. It's nice. How many days are you gonna be in Tokyo like for? A uh, few days, maybe five days. Five days, okay. And then uh. going back to the US. Okay. All right. See you, man. See you, man. Peace. I was thinking, I was like, do I know this guy because you're wearing the mask? Yeah, I don't know. All right, peace. Okay, so I do know him. I was like kind of confused. I seen him the other day. We, we talked and stuff, but I couldn't really uh, notice him because uh, he was wearing the mask. Cool. This is also, is this not, this is not, I was thinking of another place called Daiso, which is a discounted place, but here's also a discount drugstore. And something I want to point out real quick, you guys, if I didn't point out in the last video, that if you're a foreigner here, you're only coming here for a few months, you get uh, tax free on electronics and a lot of stuff over here in Japan, clothes, electronics. You have to spend usually in a typical shop, it's 5,000 or more Japanese yen, which is around $30 like $32. Yeah, so you get 8% discount off of everything over here, which is awesome. Most stores participate in that, some stores don't. Like for example, like these masks, I don't know if you wanna buy masks, but like it's $7.98 normally, tax excluded with the tax is $8.77. So if you're a foreigner and you wanna be here for a few months, you can pay, you can pay this much. Wow, just so many things to show you guys. I'm like, all right. And I said that so many times, but. Over here, I want to show you Kobe beef. You're probably wondering, what is Kobe beef? Kobe beef is a type of Wagyu beef, and Wagyu beef is like very high quality beef, the highest quality beef in the world. They feed the cows right, and it's really nice. Actually, it's expensive too, and even the meat it has a lot of marbling on it. You can just see from the pictures. It's like three pieces of Kobe beef, hello, hi guys. So like three pieces of Kobe sushi is 1,500 Japanese yen. Well, put that in USD, but it's not cheap. Not very expensive, also not cheap. Look at see, right now he's making one of the steaks. Look at this, so you like a, a sirloin steak for 8,800 Japanese yen, 80 grams. Really expensive. I love these dragons. Oh, look at this Pikachu. And if you guys are watching this and you're like, oh, this kind of looks like uh, similar to his live stream, it is because I was here in my live stream too. So if you haven't watched my live streams, please just subscribe and you can watch some live streams at a live time. Make sure you subscribe. So let me just show you, these are vending machines here in Japan, which are famous and uh, you see the prices. So anything below 150 is going to be less than a dollar. Anything above 150 is gonna be more than a dollar. 
most of the drinks are less than 150 from what I'm seeing right now. A lot of coffee, Bacardi sweat. Oh, I love it. It's really nice. It's like Gatorade. All right, let's go to the bridge area because there's some things I want to tell you about the bridge area. So over here, there's a gigantic canal where I first started the video. Let's go across the canal and I want to show you the other bridge. Because there's two things I want to show you across the bridge. There's a guy cycling. This is a beautiful canal area. And if you're a person that you just saw all this food and all these things, you're wondering like, can I get some halal food over here? Yes, you can get halal food. There's an Indian restaurant somewhere on my left. Once I pass by it, I'll show you guys. If you want some halal food, there is halal food here in Osaka. I also made a vlog about halal food in Osaka, so just check it out, guys. Okay, so we reached the middle of the canal over here. So, as you can see, it's really beautiful. There's a few things I do want to point out to you. The first thing over there is you could go on a boat ride for 20 minutes, about 20 minutes, and it costs 1,000 Japanese yen. So it'll take you down, like, back and forth on the canal. Then there's also this over here I want to show you. There's a Ferris wheel or observation wheel that this costs 600 Japanese yen per person. And underneath it, there's a grocery store too. So if you want to buy some stuff, they got you covered. And it's a famous Japanese grocery store, which is called Don Don Donkey. If you're Japanese, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. It's famous with this penguin logo. Oh, you see these people are about to get off the ride and <laughs> they're waving bye to everybody. That's funny, very nice. What else I want to show you guys that, just look at the signage over here, guys, it's gigantic. There's a signage that just moved, but there was like a gigantic guy. There's a lot of people over here. Say what's up to them. Hello guys, konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Hello, konbanwa, konnichiwa. I don't think it's konbanwa time, which is good evening. But uh, yeah guys, so this is how it is. As always, please smash the like button and subscribe. Let me know what you guys thought about the video. I really appreciate it. If you want to see more of Osaka or, or this area, just let me know. And yeah. Love you as always. And if you want to see more videos around the world, please click somewhere up on the screen. And yeah, guys, take care. Wow, look at this. This boat is another nice boat ride. Chilling out, having fun. This is like more of a private boat. Yeah, cool. All right, see you guys later. Bye.